Hello, I'm Jeff Bond and I'm a nutritional anthropologist and I study the origins of the human species and the kind of lifestyle to which human beings are naturally adapted. And today I want to talk about indigestible fibre intake. Now we know that a large part of a forager's diet comes from underground. The women burrow with their digging sticks and root out large tubers from as deep down as 10 feet. And when they have a good collection, they light a fire and roast some of the tubers to eat on the spot. The rest they take back to camp to feed the rest of the family. Either way, the tubers take a lot of chewing. Typically, a tuber such as equa contains up to 40% indigestible fibre. The forager chews the mouthful for some time to extract the juices and then spits out the quid of fibre which is like a ball of string. Just see this photo. And there's nothing like it in the Western diet and it raises some interesting thoughts. Maybe the absence of all that chewing is a factor in defective growth of jawbone and jaw muscle in modern societies. We know that just in the last 300 years, our faces have got smaller, our jaws have got more cramped, our teeth tend to be crooked, and our jaws become crooked, a phenomenon knows, uh, known as malocclusion. And today we have some pioneering dentists who are now thinking about Maybe this lack of chewing is part of the problem. Some of these people, some of these dentists, call themselves paleodentists, and one of them is Dr. Kevin Boyd. Secondly, a percentage of these fibres is swallowed. Now, back in the 1960s, Truswell and Hansen were studying the sand bushmen, and they noticed that they had pot bellies. And they came to the conclusion that they had the pot bellies not because they were fat, but because they were full of fibre. Frank Marlow, who studies the Hadza foragers in Tanzania, also comes to a similar conclusion. Either way, we know that Pleistocene humans had huge intakes of indigestible matter, of which remarkably the evidence is preserved in fossilized excrement, feces. I talk about it in my book Deadly Harvest, chapter 1, page 22, if you want to go and check it out, where I describe how, for example, one researcher, Michael Clicks, estimated that the foragers were consuming some 130 grams a day of fibre. Now, the average American only consumes one-tenth of that. And we can be sure that this dearth of indigestible fibre in the diet is a factor in many modern diseases, especially those, of course, of the digestive system. If you want to know more about my work, just visit my website, www.jeffbond.com. Thank you very much.